Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm back with uh, recent vinyl finds. I got some great records uh, this time. As well, I mean, I I don't know. I always say that, I guess, but all records are great. Well, not all records, but most. Anyways, um, so behind me right now, we're playing the. Uh... Oh, I got to turn it down. Just a sec. All right. So behind me, um, uh, I think it's. One of the early payolas, it might be their first actually, although I'm not sure, but uh, in a place like this, it's at, I love this band. I love this band, the payolas. Anyways, okay, so. <clears throat> um, all right, we're gonna start off with a Canadian singer-songwriter in the vein of Hayden. If you like Hayden, you're gonna like this guy. I actually saw him in concert there uh, with another Canadian band called the Olympic Symphonium that everybody should check out. Really nice, um, mellow, kind of, uh, I guess there's no drummer, so it's all kind of orchestrated kind of thing. A stand-up bass, guitar player, pedal steel, and uh, yeah, singer. Uh, anyways, it's uh, they're a really great band, Olympic Symphonium. But this guy opened for them, and uh, his name is Snail House. And Lies on the Prize is the name of this record. And it's on, um, what is it? It's on Saved by Vinyl. I don't know if that's the name of the label or what, but, uh, you know, it's it's really good stuff, really good stuff. Uh, like like I said, in the vein of Hayden, and, and really like, and I was so surprised. I bought this at the show, and it's on white vinyl. It's nice. And look at the nice artwork, too. Sorry, I'm trying to get this right here. Upside down. And there we go. And then on the other side, there's this nice little ghost-like figure. There we go. So, yeah, if you like Hayden, and you like uh, singer-songwriter, uh, kind of hushed voice and stuff, it's really good stuff, really good stuff. Snail houses. Okay, so on to the next, uh, this is the, this is a great record. This is Shriekback's first record. I didn't really know these guys. They're kind of having a sale at their local record store. Like, uh, they got like like two or three hundred records for two dollars. So this was one of them. I didn't really know much about them, but uh, wow, what a great record. This is uh, got hints of the Gang of Four, I found, and uh, a lot of uh, you know bass-driven stuff. This is a record called Care on Y Rock. Records and uh, whew, released in 1983. Really great it's a promotional copy too. A lot of these records came from a DJ, hence all of the stickers here. They'll come off though, like I said earlier in an early video with lighter fluid, kids. Yes, lighter fluid. Okay, so uh, 1985, first album with the Egyptians. This is Robin Hitchcock. This is a record called uh, what is it called? Thank you. Sangomania? Yeah. Um, really great stuff. I like most of what um, Robin Hitchcock puts out. This is a great record. Check it out. Uh, now on to something I don't think I've ever featured an Appalachia video, or I mean, sorry, record. But uh, this one here is absolutely stunning. It's uh, Passing Through the Garden, Nimrod Workman, and Phyllis Boyan. Uh, Nimrod Workman, interesting uh, man. He worked um, he was a, worked as a coal miner for 42 years, and then in the latter part of his life, <laughs> he decided to uh, devote his life to writing uh, music, uh, Appalachian style music and stuff. A lot of these are originals, so there's the picture on the back. That's Nimrod there, and he also sings these songs with Phyllis Boyens, and uh, it came with this really nice booklet that explains every song you know it's uh there you know it's uh really beautiful stuff like what really made me pick it up is because like i don't really know a lot about appalachian music but i do like the soundtrack for old brother where art thou and i love that song oh death and i saw that that was on there so it's on second side the third song so little oh death right there and uh, next up we got Laurie Anderson's second album. Uh, really, really fantastic record. It's called Mr. Heartbreak. Uh, it features uh, William S. Burroughs on the last song. 
uh, which was really cool to me. I really love William S. Burroughs. I like all the beat writers. And um, yeah, it was released in 1984. Yeah, and like I said, uh, Bill Laswell plays on uh, bass on this whole record and stuff, and uh, it's really good stuff. Peter Gabriel is even featured on that record. Uh, this one here is uh, Public Image Limited's uh, album. This is really interesting because they decided to, whatever the format was, was the name of the, the music. So this one's called Album. If you bought the cassette, it would say cassette. I don't know if they had an 8-track, but anyways. I haven't heard this yet, but, uh, you know, it's got some... It's got an all-star lineup, uh, you know, from uh, Bill Laswell put a lot of these um, uh, artists together, and uh, geez, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and uh, Ryuchi uh, Sakamoto, and Tony Williams, and Ginger Baker, and Steve Vai all play on this record, so I'm looking forward to hearing it, it's a promo also, probably because this DJ got all these records for free, so now I'm paying for them, but only two bucks, so it's not so bad. All right, so next uh, we move into a little bit of African tinge stuff, and that's Sunny Ade. I got this for two bucks too, I'm really happy with this. I have another one by him that's really amazing. So I had to pick this one up, it was released in 1983. He's a, it's called Synchro System, and uh, he's a Nigerian based uh, guitar player and singer, I do believe. But uh, great stuff, if you don't know uh, Sunny Ade, check him out. And, um, Let's Active. Let's Active. They are, uh, this was released in 1988. It's called Every Dog Has Its Day. And um, yeah, it's like harder edged power pop, this record. Um, yeah, it's really great stuff, actually. It's all, also on IRS Records. I was really lucky to find a nice compilation uh, double record of these guys on our IRS. And Let's Active was on there. And so I picked this up for two bucks just because I recognized uh, the name and uh, this is a band that I don't really this would be considered an obscure classic I would consider because I I never see this either on the CD cassette whatever but I actually happened to get this for two bucks it's the Slammin' Watuzis and uh, these guys are great at merging punk and free jazz saxophone and harmonica it's all over the place it's really amazing stuff not all of it's great not all of it like you know but uh it's really uh it's really great they're chicago based this was released in uh, 1989 and there they are there's the slamming watuzis you can watch uh, a few of their videos there online on youtube uh, but there's not really much information about this record i tried to look it up online and i, I didn't find anything so yeah, so these guys are a great band, the Slam and Watuzis, and great artwork too on the cover, you know, like, if you look up close, that's all really, really interesting collage. So there you go, there's some of the um, recent vinyl finds. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I love making these videos. I love it when you guys uh, comment and uh, we get a dialogue going, because what's the point of me talking to nobody? So anyways, comment. See you guys.